Hi, I'm John McAuliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of VFM Leonardo, and welcome to VTV. VTV has been produced for hotel e-commerce, marketing, and sales professionals to provide insights, knowledge, and learning from industry experts on how to extract more value from a hotel's presence online. Each week, I will interview an industry expert on a single topic. We have discovered many of these topics from industry people like yourself and encourage you to let us know if there is a topic you would like us to cover on future episodes of VTV. You can email us at vtv at vfmleonardo.com and make your suggestion anytime. Welcome to today's episode. Our topic today is generational marketing, a look at Gen X and Gen Y. And joining me today is Bonnie Knudsen. Bonnie is a professor at Michigan State University's School of Hospitality Business. Bonnie works with hospitality and travel organizations that want to better understand and take advantage of changing consumer demands. Her work has been featured in industry publications as well as the Wall Street Journal, USA Today, CNN, and National Public Radio. Bonnie, thank you for joining us on VTV and welcome again. Thank you, Jen. How are you doing? We're doing great here. Uh, we've got a good topic today as well. Uh, our topic today is generational marketing a look at Gen X and Gen Y. And of course, as we, uh, as we know, you've done a fair amount of uh, writing on generational marketing. And I recently saw an article in hotelexecutive.com where uh, you had written it, and you had mentioned that today's 20 and 30-somethings are cynical and skeptical of traditions and institutions, including hotel brands. Uh, so as a hotel marketer, how can I break through that cynicism and connect with this audience? Uh, I haven't seen this age category in my own life for a long time. I belong to one of those other generations. So it has really been interesting for me as a researcher and someone that works with the industry to transport my thinking into their mindset. And what is interesting is this cynicism. And in starting to think about where they came from, you have to go back a little bit. And it's important to understand this, uh, hoteliers to understand this. These two generations grew up at a time when a lot of institutions were failing them. Divorce rate was up. We had Watergate. There were scandals in government. There were scandals in churches. There was, uh, the educational system was kind of on a downswing. Um, milk carton kids were the norm. Um, first latchkey generation. So there were a lot of, there's a lot of upheaval, so to speak, in their lives. And consequently, as they're growing up, they learned to be very skeptical of the outside, especially big names. And they learned to rely more on themselves and more on their peers, more on their buddies. And this this whole underlying value has carried over to them now as they're, uh, as they're really entering the consumer age where they're out there and control a lot of discretionary as well as necessary spending. And incidentally, the generation Y, they will be the largest consuming and spending generation in our history. So we've really got to pay attention to them. So understanding where the skepticism comes from helps us to understand how we can market to them and how we can translate what we can do for them as a hotel and benefit them in their lifestyle. The first thing I think I mentioned is that, um, well, let me mention one other thing. They grew up with, this is really the first technological generation. They grew up online, uh, they TiVo'd, they um, uh, fast-forwarded, they clicked. And so everything is instantaneous with them, and if they don't like something, they switch very, very quickly. In much the same way, that cynicism has carried over today. So what we're looking for in how we apply our message or convey our message are a couple of things. Number one, truth. They can smell um, a story. They can smell untruth a mile away. Why? Because they grew up with it. They became very concerning. So literally, truth in advertising is more than a legal necessity. 
it's a um, marketing necessity. They don't snow them because once you do, you'll never get them back. The second thing is when you and I were younger, well, I don't know about you, but definitely when I was younger, we had a saying that you never trust anyone under 30. Well, today that applies even more so with these two generations. Word of mouth is very important to them. And so the use of testimonials on your websites, the use of um, ambassador programs, making them ambassador of your brand to outreach to prospective um, uh, hotel guests. Uh, word of mouth is extremely important. They will trust someone else in their generation 10 times more than they will trust anything you do relative to paid advertisement. So truth, testimonial. And then there's a, there's a third thing, which is a really interesting phenomenon and a tremendous opportunity for hotels and people in the lodging industry. And that is they've got a, a very global awareness and they've got an awareness of the environment that no other generation has had before. And this awareness of the environment and the global issues and the problems has led to a very high degree of volunteerism and in the sense that everybody must give back. And so interestingly enough, they look at community activism or um, giving back, being part of, as a discriminating point in brand selection. So two hotels, same town, cross the street from us, from each other. Same property, same rate, same everything. One is an active part of the community, one isn't. They will tend to go towards the one with the active part of the community. I mean, we see um, uh, philanthropic endeavors in um, that becoming part of the line item in a marketing budget. It's not an afterthought. It's structured into your brand story, into your brand image. Look at Target. Look at Newman's Own. Look at Ben and Jerry. They are all known for their, their community activism, and that is important to this particular generation. So you look at them using each other and how you can show members of their generation being active in your property, having a great experience in your property, um, uh, equates to testimonials, the volunteerism, and the truth, because they are smart consumers, smarter than you and I ever were, at least I was at that age. So those are three mantras for this generation, or these two generations. The, those are, it, it, it's interesting that you bring up, it's the cynicism that uh, almost generates a I don't believe you uh, attitude at the start of, of, of an engagement. Uh, and it's almost like uh, they would approach uh, shopping for travel online in such a way that it's don't tell me what uh, you have, show me what you have. And even better yet, uh, don't you show me why don't you have uh, peers of mine show me the experience that they have had at your hotel? Which is probably one of the things that hotels can do to help um, uh, convey their experience or their, their uh, merchandise themselves better online. But it also goes to the point of uh, the huge uh, adoption of uh, third-party sites that uh, deal with reviews and, um, uh, and how to manage those reviews as well. So do you have any kind of counsel or advice uh, that a hotelier can use to actually um, uh, get that story out to this generation uh, on a more consistent basis? Oh, one of the, the things I would strongly recommend is that every hotel monitors any blogs, any online uh, presence or reviews of their property. Because one of the things we have found in marketing is that over time, with the social media the way we've got it now, and with the 24-7 online presence, 
the brand has lost control of the message. We can put it out there, but the question is, is it believable? Uh, you mentioned the word show me before. It's more than show me, it's make me believe. Now, you can have the most wonderful website, you can have testimonials on there, and if all of a sudden somebody goes to JXY blog about the JXY hotel, and you've got two people my age saying, I had a lousy experience, you've lost it all. You have thrown all that effort away. So one of the things hotels must do, and this is true of any corporation, is monitor the online mentions and online presence in any of these review sites because it gives you the chance then to correct mis, um, missteps in your property, number one. It also gives you the chance to rebut or to correct any misconceptions or to make amends to somebody that's been wronged in the, in the past. And if you do make amends, that carries two points of credit, so to speak. There was a research one time that said every bad thing, it takes six good things to make that customer forget uh, the, the one bad thing. And so that one bad experience has a lot of power. And what you want to be able to do, if there is any, and hopefully none of the hotels listening to this thing have any, but if they do, they want to be able to jump in on it. And monitoring that online uh, blog presence or review presence is critical in this day and age, particularly for this younger generation when you're trying to attract them. Right, certainly because they're, they're uh, really the technology generation and, and their life is spent online um, uh, for the most part. Oh, I always say the thumb is the most active muscle in, that, in their younger bodies. Bonnie, another very insightful session with yourself. Uh, we thank you for joining us on VTV. Thank you, John. Have a good day. Uh, to all the viewers out there, be sure to visit vtv.vfm.